So this is a sound demo for our tack cut banjo I just finished, my first banjo. Um, the rim is a block wood construction with a ring of cherry and then a ring of uh, walnut. Um, neck through construction, I constructed the neck all um, a complete scratch build. Uh, there was no pre-fabricated parts at all, obviously, except for the mechanical tuners and things like that. So, <clears throat> the rim. Then the head is uh, calf skin, dyed in coffee and food coloring. Uh, I attached it to the rim with hide glue and bronze colored tacks here. Uh, the neck is a combination of poplar. The bulk of the neck is poplar. And then I spliced in some hard rock maple up at the top because I wasn't sure I was going to um, use friction pegs or mechanical tuners. Uh, has a plate of cherry. And uh, <clears throat> then the actual fingerboard itself. First there's a layer of uh, hard rock maple, about a quarter of an inch. And then just about an eighth of an inch of this paddock uh, for the actual fingerboard. And... Um, Got gold frets and uh, gold planetary tuners, uh, gold tailpiece, and uh, the bridge is maple, uh, spalted maple. It was actually part of a um, a double base bridge. It was cut off <coughs> a remnant from a setup on a base bridge. So good stuff. Um, but it's a long neck banjo. I did some research and. Uh, <coughs> It's a 30, I made it a 31 inch scale. Um, I could get a little bit lower tone, I could tune it down to E, but at the same time, <clears throat> uh, fretting it wouldn't be so much of an issue. Um, I made the fingerboard pretty wide down here and thick. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit too clunky, but actually I think it's kind of advantageous because your fingers are not very far away from the uh, fretboard so nice and wide down here almost guitar like um, so we'll see how it goes <laughs>